And also guys, I think um, I'm going nuts, <laughs> to be honest, because I don't have a bag in this color in my collection, like at all. I don't know why I thought I needed this. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Oh, it's hot today because I've been trying to, to, to find a good thumbnail. <laughs> I'm already sweating from that. Well, hello everyone. So today we have a long van unboxing. And not only that, but I thought, hey, you know, let me show you my little long van collection because it's grown quite a lot over the last couple of weeks, months. <laughs> so I was thinking, yeah, let's do that. I think what's in here is a perfect addition to these bags and also guys i think um i'm going nuts <laughs> to be honest because i don't have a bag in this color in my collection like at all i don't know why i thought i needed this maybe because we all know i'm ocd and like my bags need to form like a kind of symbiosis i don't know what's wrong with me guys but uh yeah i was thinking Let's look uh, at what's in here. However, before we do that, guys, let's look at my other bags again. You guys know I love Lovain bags, and I had these bags, especially the pencil box cat bag and the hobo um, cat bag, before they were even on the new Sex and the City show, you know, the, and just like that. Because I think like everybody was really hyped, right, after, after seeing them on the show. And a lot of you, I know, bought them um, once you saw them on my channel. And uh, yeah, guys, so I don't know if you've seen the unboxing video of this little baby here yet. If you haven't, go and check it out. Um, I, I just love it. You know, it's made out of Lurex. And guys, L'Envin is on, you can find L'Envin bags on Farfetch and my code, Romina FF, is still working. So, you know, in case you find a cat bag or in case you want a happy bag, you can get 10% off. Just wanted to say that again. This is the L'Envin happy bag. I said that in my other video as well. I really wanted this baby when I was a teenager. When I was like 15, 16, I really wanted a happy bag. And you know, obviously at the time I didn't have money to buy a designer bag. Um, and yeah, now I got one and she is very, uh, well, an eye catcher, right? She wants attention. She stands out from the crowd. <laughs> so yeah, I love her. Um, it's a, uh, you have to get used to the material. Like, it feels nice. Jesse from Jesse Style and Jacob from Super Jacob, they always say it looks like a Christmas tinsel bag, which it does, I know, but I still love her. <laughs> okay, so this is my happy bag. Whoops, let's put her here. Hello, this is my Lanvin Hobo Cat bag and I took her to Dubai. I've worn her quite often. I can't wait to wear I mean, you would think it's a, it's a winter bag, right? Because of the fur. It's like shearling. Shirling, shearling, I never know how to pronounce it. Um, you would think it's a winter bag, but I think I have a really beautiful beige jumpsuit. I'm just gonna wear that one in the next couple of days and pair it with this beauty. And this one, believe me, oh, you know, you just wanna pet her all day. <laughs> um, she is stunning. This is the handle. Absolutely beautiful. Inside, just black leather. And yeah. Love her, love her to bits. See, there are more dots here than there. And I always said like it's a leopard print bag, but I think a lot of you said it's Sheeta. Yeah, but nonetheless, such a stunning piece. Ooh. Next up is the, um, probably the most stunning piece that I think most of you have bought as well after seeing it on my channel. This is the Lanva pencil box cat bag, pencil cat box bag, pencil box cat bag, yeah. <laughs> so I think this is, a stunner and guys i mean this is obviously like the plain black and gold um version one of my subscribers has sent me this picture so this bag comes out in that style soon i was like wow that is an artwork right so if you were thinking about getting a black and gold one you know think twice if you want the plain one or if you might want to go for you know the extra special one that's coming out soon um again an artwork I love her. She is gorgeous. The leather is gorgeous. I, I, I can't tell you. It's very luxurious. I love the quality of Lanvin bags. Okay, can we do that? I feel like it's all gonna fall in a second. 
However, I want to show you guys this eye candy. Okay, show me a look at my new bag. Okay, this is an unboxing and I don't know what came over me guys, but yeah, let's let's look at it. Okay, so here we go. L'Envin bag number four is joining the family. And I have to be careful. I don't know if you've seen, like, when I unboxed this one, like, it fell out of the box and I was really shocked. They did an amazing job, didn't they? <gasps> there we can see it already. Are you, are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, let's try to avoid this this time round. <laughs> okay, let me hold it a little bit at an angle so that it doesn't pull out. There we have the dust bag again. crazy <laughs> I got the blue version oh hey, it feels different than the pink one I ooh, okay let me put this aside I got the blue Christmas tinsel bag as well because I don't know I'm probably living my long happy bag dream right now now that I can afford them <laughs> so this is the blue greenish version of the bag again it has stickers everywhere so we have to take them off it's obviously not blue hardware it's gold hardware or gold and silver but uh, yeah we need to take all of this stuff off now but it feels very different than the pink one okay let me take everything off first i would say and then we're gonna is my hair okay <laughs> then we're gonna compare both bags okay so here i am again with my little scissors and also with my bubble tea because you need to stay hydrated <laughs> okay um i yeah like i said let me know what kind of long bags you have in your collection and guys i can't um say that often enough i love this brand not only because the quality is amazing but also not a lot of people have those bags and also not a lot of people would recognize them on the street you know that they are designer bags so it's i don't know i love being under the radar sometimes i know i just put a chanel 22 bag that says chanel <laughs> all at the front um usually i'm not that much into logos but you know most days i prefer a little understated bag obviously oh here's a little bow so last time i had to steam iron the bow might have to do that again this time okay guys here we are I took all the stickers off. This is her and I cannot believe how much I like her. You know, like I said, I don't have a single like blue bag in my collection. I mean my Chanel Rainbow Ratio has a tiny little bit of blue and green in it, but I don't have an entirely blue bag. And I've got twins now. <laughs> so I can't wait to style this. Um, so like I said, it has silver and gold hardware. And you open it like this. It's beautiful black lambskin on the inside. And we've got all the stuff in here. So it's just, I guess, exactly the same as, yep, as my pink bag. I like to keep this stuffing because, you know, here I have a little lipstick holder there. I really like to keep the stuffing in the bag because obviously it gives it shape and helps the bag stand up. You've got one big compartment, little slip pocket right there. This bag here feels a lot different. Actually feels, I don't want to say nicer, but it does. It kind of feels nicer than the pink one. Um, like the Lurex is a lot softer. Um, this almost feels like fabric, whereas this one feels like, plastic <laughs> can i say that <laughs> so yeah uh i don't know they look pretty similar right let me see if we can somehow this is the pink one and yeah it just feels like plastic but this one feels rather like fabric i mean it reflects light different as well can you see that Huh, I would have thought they are the same material. I'm very happy. I'm very very happy with the with the blue one Actually, I think with the pink one you can't really see the fabric underneath the bag, right? But here You can see let me, Guys, let me come very close to you here You can actually see The black fabric there the black fabric underneath 
the tinsel <laughs> material, the Lyrics material. So it's definitely, I don't know, I think the quality, who focus, the quality of this one is a lot better, a lot nicer. Okay guys, so uh, let me quickly show you some modeling shots. So here we are with my number four long bar bag. I'm gonna steam iron the bow again, uh, just like what I did here. Um, I think it looks a little bit nicer then. Yeah, what do you think about my long bar collection slowly growing? Love these pieces. I'm kind of running out of space, <laughs> so I need to reorganize my um, cabinet and then I'm gonna show you in a couple of days, weeks, maybe how I currently store my bags. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, join our little handbag obsessed family here because we all do have the same, yes, luxury disease. And I see you again very, very soon, guys. Bye!